Hey, this is Jay from Livid. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the LED function in the editor. Uh, this is a brand new function to the editor, and basically what it does is allows you to use the editor to light up any of these LEDs, uh, indicator LEDs, which are under all of these buttons, and these buttons, and the BPM button. So, to access the uh, pattern maker for the LEDs, you in the, open the editor and you press LEDs uh, here on the bottom menu and it opens up the uh, LED editor. Now you'll see which LEDs are available uh, to make patterns with and they're all right here. It's pretty simple. Um, to create a pattern you just click and drag and create an LED pattern. Uh, I can clear them off. Uh, you know, Obviously I can select one at a time, turn them on and off. This could be really useful for example if you wanted to use just this little area here on your controller as drum pads so I'll light these up just by selecting them and this is I know this is my little drum area uh, I might have some you know mutes that I want to use and that could be this area down here you can also create presets uh, with the editor which is really nice so the presets are saved um, anytime you quit the editor the presets are saved with it so uh, I already I could have this preset here as my little drum triggers and then I could go to preset 2 and I could say I want all of these rows to be clip triggers and I can bounce back and forth between these presets uh, you can also do you know text sequences to create animations uh, here I have OHM spelled out uh, and then I have this little animation here that just you know creates this interactive um, interface for you know creating music or visuals uh, you can also through the MIDI control option here I can also assign any of the MIDI controls to scroll through uh, the MIDI presets and since these presets are saved with the MIDI presets um, I have I'm using these two buttons here uh, as the <coughs> as a preset up and preset down. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Back to my number one preset and you'll see as I scroll through here it changes. So I'm just pressing this button to change through all my presets. So it can be really useful if you're, these are your drum pads, these are your triggers. You know when I'm changing these two, not only is it changing the LED presets, but it's also changing anything I have assigned here. So I can assign this to note zero in preset two and then I can go back to preset one and assign this to note 80 you know whatever you want to do uh, you can have it set to the same MIDI preset um, for each one if you only just want to change the LEDs another cool thing about the uh, LED editor is that you can open an image file um, I have this little thing called bank here which is just a, it's just an X um, and you can see it takes that image file and it renders it to the um, the bank here and creates this 8-bit uh, image. Uh, you can adjust the threshold and you know you can select more complex images. Um, here's probably just a screen grab I have. Uh, well, that's way too complex. Um, but you get the idea. Um, so, of course, this uh, editor is available um, as a standalone, and the source code is also available if you just press this little button here, the Updates button. It takes you to our website, our blog, and you can see anytime Pete updates the editor, um, there'll be little uh, tutorials and videos and uh, descriptions about what's new in there.